Lithuania held the most serious exam during the presidency of the Council of the European Union, the EU's association agreements, including the deep and comprehensive free trade area with Georgia and Moldova, were initialed and signed at the Vilnius summit. The president of Lithuania, Dalia Griboskaiti, who invited heads of state and government, cabinet members from 34 countries, together with EU leaders to this event, underlined that the summit proved to be very successful because it opened a new stage in the development of the Eastern Partnership. Initialing is only one first step. We will still need signing and ratification in order to enjoy full benefits of closer political association and, of course, deep economic integration. And this is useful, firstly, not for the leaders of Eastern partners, but for the nations and people of our Eastern partners. We will still need every effort for today's commitments to become irreversible reality and better life for our Eastern partners. The aim of these agreements are to accelerate political association and economic integration. Also, a framework agreement on Georgia's participation in EU crisis management missions have been signed. Vilnius summit played a big role, not only for Moldova and Georgia, but also for Azerbaijan, which signed a visa facilitation agreement. Let me start with congratulating Azerbaijan and its president on signing the visa facilitation agreement with the European Union. And we look forward to signing the readmission agreement and the mobility partnership in the very near future. This visa facilitation agreement is a step further in bringing Azerbaijan closer to our Union. The European Union and Ukraine have initiated a comprehensive air services agreement. This agreement opens the way towards a common aviation area between the EU and Ukraine. However, the hope of initialing and signing EU's association agreements with Ukraine were broken. The UK President Viktor Yanukovych froze plans to sign the trade and reform deal defending his refusal to sign by saying that the EU was not offering adequate financial aid to upgrade Ukraine's economy. The leaders of Vilnius summit didn't vindicate the solutions of the Ukrainian president. I think that Ukrainian people are disappointed. It's not about Europe to be disappointed. I think that uh, today's uh, Ukrainian leadership chose the way which is going nowhere. Uh, I'd like to add the following. Because there were some suggestions, as you know, they are made public, about a kind of a trilateral agreement uh, between uh, Ukraine, European Union and then Russia concerning this association agreement and this CFTA with Ukraine. Of course, this is not acceptable. We think the intensive negotiations that have taken place over quite a long period of time have got us to a good point. It is, of course, for Ukraine to decide what it wishes to do. And there have been some good and important discussions with President Yanukovych here. What I would say is that the European Union's door is open. And it's open because we believe that this is significant and important for them and for us. And I really hope that we'll move forward as quickly as possible. The leaders of the EU and Eastern Partnership countries issued a declaration specifying the progress achieved in the past two years and setting further guidelines for the programme. The goals set for the years ahead include the further advancement of democracy, ensuring respect for human rights and continuing judicial reforms. The implementation of association agreements with respective countries Progress in visa liberalisation, ensuring energy interconnections and gradual integration.